Flat earth, endlessly wide, a perfect place to live, trees grow, people run, and nice and safe, sweet. Except um, in 2023, the Titan sub imploded at 3.8 kilometers under about 38 megapascals of pressure. True and tragic story. But uh, what if we go deeper into a safe, flat, infinite earth? Let's use a simple rule. Pressure equals density times gravity times depth. At 10 kilometers, every cave would squeeze shut. The pressure is about 265 megapascals, about seven times the Titan's depth. At 100 kilometers, it is about 2.65 gigapascals. That is 26,000 atmospheres. The world becomes a pressure cooker. Pressure traps heat. When hot rock rises or water sneaks in, it melts. Volcanoes everywhere. At 6,371 kilometers, pressure hits about 360 gigapascals, which is Earth core level if you live in a round world. The infinite dirt is crushed into a planet-sized iron plate. No soil, no holes, just solid. But flat Earth is infinite. So let's dig deeper. Around 14 million kilometers. The pressure is about 10 to the power of 18 pascals, which is one with 18 zeros. The iron plate is squeezed into a blinding neutron plane. Matter so tense for atoms, they don't even exist. Only neutrons. And here's the thing. Neutron planes gravity doesn't fade with height. Even a paper-thin layer would yank everything everywhere at once. Blink, and it's over. But okay, let's pretend that somehow that doesn't end us. The neutron plane pearls into countless neutron stars. The merge. Some collapse. Horizons join very fast. You get one endless black hole. So be thankful you're living in a finite round rock floating in space. You're welcome.